It doesn't matter if your feet are flat on the floor. But then, see how he did that? He used the top of the fence. He has to push himself down into position. He's tight. When he brings that bar down, lying and straight and lying. He's not bench pressing to his nipples. He's bench pressing under his pecs or to the sternum area. Why? Because this, this is higher. <laughs> his sternum is higher than his chest. So we're trying to shorten the distance that he has to go down and back up. So he's going to bench press to the highest area. His sternum is sticking up higher when he arches his back. So we're trying to shorten that travel distance of the wall. You want it? Hey, Rob, get in there and feel that, what he's talking about. So, th starting from seeing that. So, I know you'd be going for reps, but your football players always go for their max bench press. Especially if you're playing at SC. So, think about pinching those shoulder blades back. It's again going to save you from injury. Driving out of the heels. Tight core, squeeze your ass. There's a gap underneath. Good. Bring it down to the sternum. Now, how about breath control? Okay. Of course, you exhale on the way out or the point of exertion. Put your heels back a little bit more. Okay. Drive those heels, push them off of the heels. Mark Ripito, you know Mark Ripito? Uh, uh, anyways, he said that the heels should be, when they, you obviously use them to like press, and it should be more like a, you should be thinking of your heels pressing the shoulder blades into the pass. Do you agree with that? I do agree with that. That's a good way to explain. So uh, heels pressing your shoulder blades into, into the bench. The bench it's like a horizontal, rather than they press, because you obviously, they're pressing up with the angles of your knees and stuff. Presses. You want to think about it pressing horizontally like backwards for you to get your shoulder blades into the bench. Dig them into it. Dig them into the bench. Yeah. So you agree with that? Explain. Yes, I do. It's a good way to explain it. So that, that, that helped bring in the heels back. I've never done that before. Like I always I always felt like you should have been at a 90 degree, so you're actually taking your knee in a little Yes, you know, that's actually you bringing the knee in and forward. Your shoulder blades are what now, makes contact. Scott Mendelson, the number one bench press in the world today, holds 1,100 pounds. He doesn't bench press with a flat foot or with his heels touching the floor. He bench press on his toes, but he's pressing like a, the world's biggest ballerina on them toes. He actually blew his quads out. He was pressing so hard <laughs> on the bench press. That's gnarly. Yeah, he blew a quad out. That's pressing. You're trying to put that heel in the organizations that, when I did it, everybody, we had to always have our feet flat on the floor. That was a rule. If your toe came in, if your heel came up, just fall the cable. So we had to do it with the heels on the floor. They tried to, to drive my heel, try to drive the heel through the floor, arch in the back, to drive the shoulders into the bench. I used them, 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 I used we, there's a lot of stuff to remember, and it's not comfortable. If you're trying to get comfortable and do a big bench press, or you want to be cool and cross your feet, <laughs> you'll never see anybody bench press 700 pounds with cross legs on top of your bench. <laughs> it ain't going to work. You need the stabilization, because the bench press is not just a chest move, it's a whole body. The whole body in a big bench press, you have to utilize your whole body. Second you gotta practice this so much until the second nature. If you're thinking about driving, everything you gotta do, then you're gonna not be able to concentrate on bench press if you're thinking too much about your technique and all the different positions you're gonna do. Practice that so much until the second nature. When he gets down there, he can do his bench press. He pushes it to the end, he knows he knows exactly what he's doing. He's done the same thing. Over and over again, so many times, he's used to it. It's comfortable. That's that's the way he bench presses now. 
It has to become like that. You have to do it over and over and over again until the mechanics are second nature. Mechanics are being stressed how I set up, how I get into it, the second nature. Then you can have all you have to worry about is getting that shit off your <laughs> Okay, and the easiest part, uh, we're gonna discuss that at the end, at the end of the seminar. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about what's the most important thing to, in my opinion, about bench pressing. And it's definitely uh, not worrying about what's on the ball.